Oi, did you fall asleep? Nope, I'm listening. Listening to what? Your heart. Huh? It's a heart. All sounds the same. No, this one. Uh, why not? Because it's Kachan's heart. Hmm, <sighs> whatever. But don't fall asleep and drool all over my t-shirt again. Hmm. I have to be sure it's really him. Uh, who are you? My sight can trick me, but my other sense is... <laughs> Taste, damn Deku! How dare you forget me! Ouch! Wait, what? I'm gonna make you remember it all, one way or another. Come here! No, stop! Ah! It hurts! Why only one way? Ouch! It hurts! Doesn't mean it's a bad thing, dumbass. It's too big for you, nerd. But I look adorable, right? Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Trolling again. <coughs> Can you stop biting me, please? Huh? Do you dare give me orders, shitty ghost? <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So soft. Have you seen this stupid, shitty, adorable nerd face? It's mine. Uh, have you seen these incredible, perfect, and sculpted by the gods' pets? They're mine. Uh, are you asking for something? Looking at me with that face. <laughs> Deku. Kachan. Be careful out there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going fishing. I'll be fine. He looks so adorable when he worries. <laughs> Are you asking for something? Looking at me with that face. Deku. Kachan. Be careful out there. With that look in that suit, try to look hotter than me? <laughs> Am I not already that? What did you say, fucking nerd? Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Kachan, are you asleep? <sighs> Uh, Kachan? Huh? Mm, Deku. Mm, stupid Deku. Being so adorable, I hate you. But I love you so much. <laughs> He's the one being adorable, sleeping and talking in dreams like that. But I can't tell him because, for sure, he'll blow up in my face. Huh? <laughs> 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 hmm? Hello? Oi, damn nerd, where are you? Uh, Kachan, I'm with... We're on a date, so don't bother us. Huh? That bastard, I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> <sighs> Everyone, shut your mouth, I have something to say! I'm handsome. Oh, so handsome. Eternal hug! Villain quirk, eternal hug. If other people write their names in her notebook, by drawing an umbrella between the names, she can make them hug. WTF, my body's moving on its own! Ha ha ha! Todoroki and Bakugo, kiss now! And if she draws a heart, can make them kiss. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait! Stop! Stop! <sighs> make sure that pervert goes to jail and never comes out! He almost, he almost caught on his mind, caught on his mind, caught on his mind! <laughs> Don't do that again! Ah, it wasn't my fault, damn jealous nerd! <laughs> Izuku, I told you, stop trying to win this on your own. Kachan! <laughs> Come on, Bakugo, say cheese! How dare you take a fucking photo! I will blow your face! It's so soft and fluffy. Uh, guys, why are you so noisy? What's hap- Huh? Uh, stare. Taking advantage of taking photos before it disappears. He looks adorable. Don't say I look adorable, you moron! He had a little accident with a kid's quirk and ended up looking like this. Kacha on those ears and the tail! Where did that come from? This is amazing! Do you feel it if I touch you? Do you have any cat abilities? Can you see in the dark? Has your sense of smell improved? Can you... Stop touching me, damn nerd! He looks adorable, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Kachan, for this awesome day! It was perfect! Huh? We didn't do nothing special. Just went to a normal amusement park. Mm, I should wake him up, but maybe he's getting angry. But it's time to get up. But he looks so peaceful sleeping. And so cute. <sighs> <sighs> 
Come on, get up already. Uh, five more minutes. Uh, it's morning already. Deku, we have to move if we want to reach the village before dark. Oi, wake up! <sighs> Whatever. Kirishima and Sarah say that if we join them for dinner tonight at the restaurant with the famous dishes, those super spicy ones. Oh, this Saturday the amusement park is free and Uraraka Eden and Suya want to go. We go with them? Oh, it seems that Jiro has become mad with Kalminori again. He must have done something. Also, Todoroki says that Endeavor... Oi, Deku! Huh? What? Tell Kirishima and Sarah we're in. Um, yeah, we're in. And on what? I completely forgot what I was doing. Don't even think about giving me one of your surprise kisses when we're with the others. Do you hear me? Ha! Huh, I'll do it whenever and wherever I want, nerd! What do you think about my new outfit, Kachan? Aren't you uncomfortable, though, dumbass? Not really. I'm wearing shorts underneath. Uh, Kachan? Kachan? Hey, Kachan. I know it's kind of useless at this point, but it give me some sort of closure. Look, I even tied my tie properly this time. You always made it look so easy, and it took me almost 20 minutes to get it right. It's not just my tie, Kachan. Everything has been so hard lately. It seems I can't function anymore. Uh, sorry, I didn't come here to cry. Actually, I wanted to give you this. The guys helped me choose it. Mine is orange, so we match. Ochako and Ida wanted to organize the whole thing right away, but I wanted to wait until all the paperwork for our hero agency was approved. <sighs> Should have told you sooner. Kachan, would you have said yes? It starts with Deku, waking up in the vestiges of OFA, watching over Bakugo as the next holder, as he fumbles with his newfound power, trying to make it his while embracing what used to be a part of Deku, who took a blow for him and died in his place, right after passing OFA to him. Kotsky expected a black mist in a strange timeless place, but the vestiges come different for him. He finds himself sitting on the wooden log he fell off all those years ago, and he slips again. But this time, a tiny hand reaches out, and this time, he takes it and holds it close. <laughs> the part of Deku that lives in the vestiges is a child, the accumulation of everything good about him, where he lives without fear, trauma, or scars. Katsuki continues on to become the greatest hero, to fulfill Deku's dream in his place. As time passes, the child Deku in the Vestiges gets a second chance at growing up, and this time, Kotsky makes sure he gets it right, finally having the courage to say all the words he never uttered back when Deku was alive. But he saved the three words that matter the most. Years later, when Kotsky passes on the power to Eri, he retires and spends his days with his family and friends, and his nights holding Deku close in his dreams. And when he finally feels what remained of OFA fizzling out, he says goodbye to Deku, waiting for the moment where they will be reunited. Years later, when he finally breathes his final breath, Kotsky closes his eyes, and he wakes up to a familiar logwood bridge. <sighs> hey, nerd. He wants to say it properly this time, but the need beats him to it. I love you. I love you too, he tells him instead. What kind of inhumane sacrifice have you performed to summon me, little one? Uh, I... I just... I j j just, uh, uh... Got a paper cut? Oi, Deku! Huh? Time to put that floating cork to good use. Just hang up the decorations. Sure thing, Kachan! <laughs> Start with this one. Latest data affirms that crime has risen by 2% since All Might's retirement. Oshaka-san, why did he retire? I thought he was invisible. This happened by losing? Our s who will protect us now? Why did he retire, I thought? This happens by losing our symbol of peace. Who will protect us now? No one can take his place. All Might was unique. Everything is already lost. Kachan, something wrong? Just nothing. Get back to sleep. <sighs> Kachan! Eh, what the fuck you want? Congratulations for your provisional license! Huh? What's that face all about? Don't look down on me, damn nerd! N no, that wasn't my intention! I'm just happy that now we can do hero work together. Huh? Aww. Hey, you! Just shut up and come here! <laughs> I said shut up, stupid nerd! 
Hachan, you have cake on your face. Happy birthday, Midoriya. <laughs> <laughs> you, Deku. Huh? You have cake on your face. <laughs> K-K-Kachan! Come to my room this night if you want your damn present. <laughs> this night? Why this night? This is my chance. <laughs> What's that stupid smile about? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Give me the phone! No! How dare you take a photo of me, scumbag! But Kachan, you have many photos of me sleeping and... That's not the point here! Let us begin! I'm starved. This all smells wonderful. <laughs> huh? What's that face about? I'm so blessed. Huh? Why you say that? For many reasons. But one of them is because... You're here. Huh? Shut up, stupid nerd. <laughs> you can get any guy you want, Ochaka san I mean, he is pretty buff for a geek, but he's kind of average looking. I don't get it. Hmm... OMG, I totally get it now, he's adorable! This makes me so happy. So, Ochako, are you gonna talk to him? I don't know, Toga, like how would I even go about doing that? Just ask to sit and eat lunch with him, he'll take the hint. I'll do it if you don't want to, I like to get close with easy. Okay, I'll do it! Hey, Yuzuku, mind if I sit with you? Ah! I'm so sorry, I'll, I'll pay to clean your uniform! It's really okay. I'm just glad you're okay. I'll buy you some more lunch. Hmm. Uraka, upset that someone is literally between her and Midoriya. Kodai, just happy to be here, but she is in a flirty mood today. The next day during class, these three are partnered up for assignment. Midoriya, nervous that he's partnered up with two girls. Hey Midoriya, I didn't know you had freckles. Um, yeah? Can I touch them? Um, why? Doesn't even see Kodai. Uh you okay, Uraka? You look kind of upset. Uh, I'm fine. Hmm. Well, I can take you to the office if you feel... You three, pay attention. So that's what happened? That's rough, buddy. It just feels like there's always something in the way. Maybe I should give up. I'd probably end up distracting him from things he actually cares about. You should just be upfront with him. You can't decide for him. Look, Chaco, you're literally the best person. I know you'll figure it out, and he'd be lucky to have you. But if Izuku is free on the market, then maybe I'll... Uh, Himiko! I'm gonna buy you something. You want anything? No, I'm good. I'll wait outside. Huh? Hello, oh, ma'am. That'll be 300 yen, please. Wait, you're Izuku. You work here? Uh, have we met before? Hey, hey, quick! Tell me, do you, like, have a crush on anyone? Mm. <laughs> Why do you ask? Mm, Himiko, what's taking you so long? Oh. Hi. Hi! I didn't expect to see you here, Araka. Ditto, so how long have you been working here? Just over a month now. Got a new apartment, too. That's neat. It's good to see you outside of school. Same. So I see you're hanging out with your friend here. Yeah, we're just walking around today, though. That's cut. We're gonna watch Barbenheimer tomorrow. You should totally come with us. Uh, Himiko? Yeah, sure. I'm free. It's settled, then. <gasps> huh? You don't? What about lunch? I skip it most days. Breakfast? Nothing really. Maybe a small snack once every while. What? You need to eat. Don't you get hungry a lot then? Well, yeah, but it's easy for it to stop after eating something small. I have a small stomach too. But you're also missing out on lots of good food. Eating out is easy. Why don't you do it too? Uh, well, I don't exactly have time. Oh, I know. When we hang out, we should do it around dinner time. There's a bunch of places I want to try because my friends recommended it. So let's go there. Yeah, sure. That sounds cool. <laughs> I can't wait for next time already. You like going out with me that much? Mm-hmm. You're a cool person. You said we should keep getting to know each other more, too. You make good friends really easy, don't you? Well, I guess. I just like talking with people. I haven't been able to hang out with other friends lately. I've just been so busy with work stuff, I haven't gotten to see anyone. Apart from you. Oh, I'm honored. <laughs> Where should we go now, though? Mm, I know a place. It's a bit from here, but it'll be worth it. Huh? What? Hey, we're not supposed to go up there. The police tape is... This? 
No one cares. They aren't going to renew this building in years. It's a nice place to just relax alone. It'll be worth the climb, too. I swear. Uh, well, if we get in trouble, then... then... Uh, 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 did... Uh, did it have to be this high? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, Midoriya, how long have you known this place? A bit now. I just think it's a nice place for a view. It is! The wind feels so nice up here. I haven't been so high up in so long. You can see Mount Fuji from here. Hey, man, come on in, come on in. You want something to drink? No, thanks. So, what's been on your mind so badly you need to visit me all the way here? Well, you remember Tuesday's meeting? Yeah, of course. It was only two days ago. So, after the meeting, I, I bumped into... Ugh. Uh, I heard about that. With Uraraka, right? Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking saying that. I called her and apologized later that night, but it still feels unsettled. I think she isn't comfortable being around me after that. I wouldn't blame her, honestly. I mean, you think you're overreacting a bit? I'm sure she doesn't have anything against you. She doesn't look the type to hold a large grudge, either. I don't know. I just want to try and sort things out. Well, can't you guys just do so tomorrow during patrol? She switched schedules. Oh, it's probably because of me. It doesn't help I drove her away with me saying she shouldn't work too much. Hey, hey, calm down. There's no way anyone would switch patrol schedules just because of that. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you know where you messed up. She said it was okay, too. Okay, so? That's all you're gonna say, shitty hair? Uh, oh, I can't believe it! You already knew, right? Well, who told you? Ashido? Uh, Raccoon eyes! Damn, Izuku can't keep his mouth shut! Well, you told me. Shut up! <sighs> mm, why are you telling me? <gasps> are you going to ask me for an advice? I'm leaving! <sighs> Sit back down and tell me what I can do for you. <sighs> well, I... What should I do now? Go find him and tell him! Right now! He's with Kiri! But where? I don't know, that's why I said find him! Go, 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 go! Hmm... Mm, what? Well, you fucked up, that's for damn sure. Hmm... Why did you say that, if it's not how you feel? I guess... I just don't know how to deal with love and those feelings. Uh, you said the L word. <sighs> where is Pikachu? He might have something less stupid to say. He's with Jiro. Damn, why is everyone all lovey-dovey? I guess we are scared, you know? We're going to war in a month, and we might die. We are too cool to die. Nobody's ever that cool. <sighs> so did you talk to Raccoon Eyes already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a brave thing to be able to accept your feelings, especially the ones that are complicated and scary. If you really mean what you said to him, you wouldn't be here talking to me about it. You don't feel good about it. You should tell him that. There's no tomorrow, Baku bro. If there's a chance to be with him, it's right now. <laughs> ah! You are an idiot, Ichiro. Huh? What? What happened to shitty hair? I guess your hair isn't looking that shitty today. <laughs> what was that? Oh shit, sorry, Hall. I got stuck in my head there. Glad you found your way out, buddy. Yeah? And what up? I... I need wood. What? I need wood, Al. A hard, long, sturdy wood, man. It's my fantasy. <laughs> Hall, I'm telling you, Al. I need a massive shaft of long, wet wood. Help me, please. Al, help! Show me! I don't think you understand how much I need this wood. If I even feel touch, taste this wood I need so very much, I think I might... Log ride? Fuck yeah, let's hit up the log ride. If it'll get you to stop squirming like that, sure. Hey baby, come on, just for a little bit. Um, please, I- I just- Wanna check this out first, though? That girl seems a bit freaked. Hm, <laughs> looks like some douchebags. Yup, you're right, D-bags. What's wrong, babe? Me and the boys just wanna chat a bit. Uh, please, I have to go. My boyfriend is- he's waiting for me. Boyfriend? Oh, don't worry about him, babe. Why don't you, me, and the boys play a bit? It can be your secret. But, but I, please. What type of boyfriend would just leave a girl like you out here alone? 
Hey now, it's okay. Besides, it can be dangerous here, babe. Uh, please, I I have to go. My boyfriend is he's waiting for me. Boyfriend? Oh, don't worry about him, babe. Why don't you, me, and the boys play a bit? It can be our secret. But but I please. Hey now, it's okay. Besides, it can be dangerous here, babe. What type of boyfriend would just leave a girl like you out here alone? No, he's he's great. So. Yeah, just a quick thrust, baby. Totally. Hey, 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 think about it this way then, babe. If he's so great, don't you think you should be just as great? The boy and I can help you practice, right? I think I might get involved here. Back me up, Hall. <laughs> hey, guys! Miss! How are y'all? I'm Al and I pride myself on conversation hijinks. Pleased to meet y'all! The fuck? Um, sir? What? Piss off, jackass! Hmm, one moment while I consider that request. Nope, I think I'll refuse ya. What? Are you her boyfriend, bro? Well, I guess I could follow that fake boyfriend trope. It could be fun, I suppose, but what I really want to do it... Lie to y'all, rescue the girl, and add 10 points of karma for the day. Huh? But no, I'm not. What I am is perceptive. At least perceptive enough to see through a dumbass like you. What did you just say, asshole? I could repeat it, but if you couldn't keep up with what I just said, then sadly, you might be hopeless. Boys, it looks like we got ourselves a... A hero? Yeah, you can call me one of those, and like all the good stories told, heroes always win. You wanna go, prick? No, 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 you got it all wrong, buddy. See what I mean about that brain of yours? I wanna stay, not go. At least until... <coughs> That's what we call an expletive. Good job, but really, you don't want to continue this. What the fuck was that? Shut the fuck up! You don't tell me! What I... I... Fuck! 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 Uh, uh, Benson! Fuckheads, how about a little help here? <laughs> I did explain the wall hero plot, right? Buddy, you're really gonna have to work on that audible comprehension. Get the fuck off me, prick! In a second. In a second. First, take a moment to worry about rubbing those two brain cells you have left together. What did you- uh! Relax, relax, buddy. Miss? Uh, uh, yeah? I'm so stoned. I apologize for a random acts of violence. Is there a friend of yours you can find close by? Uh-huh. Then you may want to go find them. And please enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Uh, th thank you. Back to you, big guy. It looks like our antics have begun to draw a bit of attention. <sighs> One, I can let you go and you can run off wherever and chalk this up to a bad day. Or two, we can continue this little fight until we get arrested. You'll uh, pay! So, remember what I said about your two brain cells? Now's the time to make use of them. Decide. I won't forget this, prick. Good choice. Al, looks like you still got that touch of yours. That running in without thought thing you got. The life of a hero never ends. And that's not what I said. I swear, you're going to get that cute face of yours broken. You'll still love me, right, Hall? Listen, about that, I don't know if I can be with someone with a negative B cup anymore. <laughs> Who would want your slimy ass fingers on them anyways? <laughs> I need a bit more to hold on to, buddy. I feel a fair bit weaker than I used to be. Thanks for having my back, though. If all three had jumped me, I'd be dead like 100% plus tax. <laughs> No problem. Knives can usually stop most fist fights. Getting a bruise can be fun. Cuts? Not so much. You got that right. But Al, we have a much more serious problem. Hmm? I still have this ache. This longing. This unrelenting desire. To the log ride. These were the things I missed the most. Having a friend to walk with. Having a support to your stupid plans and ideas. And having a comrade who'll back you whenever you ask. Or wherever you don't ask. I think this trip will help me get over her, at least a bit more than if I were just on my own. That ex of mine would constantly jeer and scold me for even thinking about going out with my buddies. It felt like I was in a constant war with her when I came to hang out with other people. Eventually I lost it. It's been effing years since I got out without her. Literally years. I can't believe how much of a hold a relationship can cast on you. I really hope that sort of things only happens in bad relationships. Abusive ones. No fucking more. I resolve today to find one that is the complete reverse of Becky's and mine. If I succeed, life is gonna rock. So then I was like, fuck you, and he was like, oh, fuck you. 
riveting. Then I was like, wanna fuck? Then as you could imagine, we made the most ecstasy-inducing love you wouldn't believe. You and your D&D characters. So I'm guessing you got pregnant. Yeah, and had fucking ten tuplets! Which I sacrificed to Tiamat. <laughs> Naturally. Good morning! Good morning. Good morning! How are you, my young fellows? Hell yeah! This will truly be a great day for you too! I can sense it! Oh, it's a ball throwing game. So, will I get your number if I win, miss? Always thinking with the dick, huh, buddy? Perhaps, my good sir. Our prizes are always, always amazing! Why, when I first won the game, my terminal phase cancer was instantly cured! Now I work here cause awesome! Hi there, cutie. What can we young fellows do for you? Something important, sir. Hopefully the most important. Get ready, Al. I feel a sales pitch coming. Right on, sir, of the blonde hair! I am here to offer you a chance, an opportunity, a possibility! Here, and now for just $5 each, you can play for one of our toughest of tiers prizes! That's some sell, cutie. How about it, Al? Wanna play? Excellent! Mr. Caledon, we have some heroic patrons! My good girl, you continue to outperform. Now, my good sirs, I welcome you to the Grand Caledon target, Dawn of Fate! One ball provided to you for $5 shall be thrown! If your eyes be keen, your arms throw true, and your heart's of purest color the center of the target, your ball will strike! One ball for $5? Seems kind of steep. It's all fine, Al. Think of it as $5 for the game and a bit of entertaining theater. I see we have a true thinker. But one of your eyes, young men. One of your arms. Kalima, one of your hearts. Will they all hold the strength enough to succeed my test? To reach us. Great Caledon, my eyes are the keenest. My arms of highest temper and my heart holds oceans of the purest, um, somethings. In all the land, your test shall be laid low this day. Getting a bit into it, aren't you, buddy? That's the spirit! My most noblest of sirs, set yourselves in position and let fly your balls of fate. Honestly, it felt like this was a con. Too played up. Here you are. Good luck, good sirs. Though I suppose this was normal for any carnival game. Hmm. Take that! However, I passed it off as a whatever in my head and decided to play with all the invention of losing. However, what happened next was... Shit, I missed. That ball really fly funky though, wow. Hark! Hark? It seemed on this day we have ourselves the truest of winners, good sir! Heroic sir, one of the most pure, you have passed my test! Woo! Hell yeah, I totally own that test, Al! Really? Damn man, that's a bit impressive. Good job, man. <laughs> Thus the contest won, and so a prize shall be awarded. Wow, great job, sir! It's been ages since someone won this game! Thanks, cutie. So how about the number? <laughs> oh, great Caledon the Great, what prize shall be bestowest on us, uh, me? Yes, yes, good sir. I offer you not one, but two of the most finest of trinkets. I like things. Let's make some shit. My name is Steve. I don't know how I got here. Let's make it magical. First imagined by the pantheon of Greek gods. Forged by the mighty hammer of the thunder god Thor. Worn incorrectly by the lovers Izanagi and Izanami in the lands of rising sun, and Cray by all the dark lords of all the underworlds are these two pieces of treasure. Ta-da! So, this is my prize? That's well, kinda cheap, Hall. Yeah, but, oh well, this is kinda fun. Good sir, these are no hoax. These are ancient and very special. When wrapped around thy ankle you first spoke and wish shall be made true. Wishes for riches and all the wealth you can hope for will be yours. Wish for power, all the world would heal to your beck and call. Wish for a new realities and the fabrics of physics will bend and fracture. Forming into something quite new, these anklets though plain are of highest quality and deserving of a host whose heart is pure. Totally! If Caledon says it, you can set your watch and warrant to it. I suppose you can even wish for my number. Is that so? Well, seems I have no choice now, Al. Here, you try one too. Sure, man. Sure.